I'd think. Personally, as uh, as right, Roy, so yeah, I wouldn't want to go here. I, yeah, but. I don't. Uh, Espeon loves the stage, so I don't know why. I mean, he probably doesn't know Espeon loves the stage, but Link in general just loves the stage. But looks like Red X has a little bit of decent movement, busting out a couple perfect pivots there early on, having some trouble with his dash dances. Let's yeah, Espeon really get going. Making that's one thing about Espeon, right? He's just like such solid. Like his movement's so good, and his projectile placement's like absolutely incredible. Yeah, there's so, very few times where he throws out a projectile and it's not, like, 95% safe for him. Yeah, like, Espeon's very good with his movement, and, like, he does, like, them at the same time. Like, the way he throws his projectiles, it's hard to hit him. He's just moving so well. Um, oh, 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 Red X no. misses the recovery. A little too low, and he's only got 8% on Espeon. Yeah, only 8%. I feel like if you don't know what you're doing, it's Link will just get blown up. And we were talking about how uh, Espeon probably has no Roy experience, but I can't think that Red X has too much in the way of Link experience outside of For Glory, and that doesn't matter. Yeah, Le Espeon definitely quite a few tiers above the average For Glory uh, Link. Yeah. So we'll see if he can take whatever knowledge he has from that to... Oh, go for a rend down. Maybe try to do like an air or something, but... I'm not too sure that. A lot of ground too. Whenever he tosses out the boomerang, he likes to throw it on a downward angle. And that bounce with the tornado just controls huge amounts of stage. Well, the entire lower hole is just removed from Roy's. So yeah, Espeon definitely taking firm, firm control of this game right now. Ooh, good air dodge uh, punish with the up smash. Not gonna kill quite yet. Link wasn't at that high percent, and we are on battlefield. Oh no! The stage with the highest. Oh, that was a jab block, but he actually slid off the stage. If Espeon, if uh, he did not slide off the stage, Espeon got a guaranteed dash attack right there, and it would have killed. Oh yeah. So, ooh, almost gets the F tilt. Goes for a reverse hit of F tilt. Maybe Espeon feeling himself a little bit. Oh, misses it. Okay. He's oh, dead. the bomb didn't explode. Doesn't doesn't save him. But usually that is that that is a very good recovery trick for Link. So and very rare too that Espeon misses those. I don't think I've ever. Oh, unfortunately that that bomb got hit. But I don't think I've seen Espeon ever miss his uh, bomb explosion recovery. Jab, jab, grab. Going to see up air. Ooh, only gets a. Oh, reacts no, the roll. Up air, a really potent move in this uh, matchup too. In any matchup, really, for people that don't know, as. Um, uh, up air lasts three frames longer than an air dodge. Yeah, so you usually do get caught by up air. Oh, oh yeah. But yeah, he misses it, does it, goes for a short hop, and then just reacts to the roll and gets an up air there. So gets the stock anyways. Fairly dominant performance from Espeon. A few sparks of uh, brilliance from Red X, but yeah, not he's gonna, enough he's to keep be able it to together. It is kind of tilting sometimes playing against Link, getting all this stuff. Foreign. Okay, foreign. Oh, interesting. See, he this does have be okay going to Battlefield on. Uh, Espeon does have a lot of experience in this matchup. Uh, Mono, oh, yeah. a, a very good Corrin from the island. He's ranked yeah. fifth there. Uh, very good Corrin. Espeon plays him usually when they're at the same tournament. So We'll have to see if Red can bust through this. It, you're right, will be a very tough matchup with all the knowledge. That Especially, like, it is a better character, but if Espeon knows the matchup, it might go not as bad, bad as last game. Oh, there's a side B. I was for a jab, not up tilt. I was expecting up tilt after the side B, but uh, Red, Red X is the core player, not me. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, Espeon catching so much stuff right now. Calls the jump too with the up B. Espeon is moving. Espeon's follow ups. Makes the shield grab with the S smash. Wow. Espeon doing some stuff right now. Doing some stuff for Red X. And Red His ability to follow up on like every it. single movement is just unmatched. Uh -oh. Okay, yeah. Calls out the. Punishes the laggy F smash from Corrin with an S smash of his own. Definitely gonna take that stock. Okay, rolls out of the way of the grab. Oh, punishes that though. You can't get too greedy on shield, even though Link has a very bad shield grab. Um, you still shield can't grab. get too greedy, yeah, especially since it's like the range is very long. Hard to get yourself out of it. Ooh, good, uh, good pressure to by Espeon. Up tilts, back airs, linking them together. Pulling out a lot of arrows to draw like that. Alright, good down throw actually. That was a weird grab. He got it. Ooh, the side B absolutely would have killed if he hit it. Uh oh. Uh, goes for a hasty up smash. Ooh, that down air was definitely not meant. He probably tried to see stick control. Good up smash. Not gonna kill quite yet. Good DI from Red X. Gonna live. No, I feel like Red X would maybe be looking for like a side B to get him off stage and then capitalize from there. But uh, that's good not giving him a chance to hit anything. Stage. And that's 
up nice. 2 over Espeon. Oh, Going sure pretty, that... pretty solid this far, so we'll see if he can... I'm not sure if that was Espeon's corn knowledge, or if that was just Espeon really, really getting in on it what It was Red probably X both, because he definitely comped in the matchup. Will he go back to the Roy? I would have to think he'd go back to the Roy after that, that game. It was a little rough looking. There wasn't those those points in time where it looked like Red was really in the driver's seat. He just always looked, always looked behind. Will go back to Leroy. Probably a decent call. And taking him to FD. Won't have to deal with uh, the platform movement that Espeon employs so well. Team 3, Red needs to find some ground. Yeah, okay, I don't know. Um, I don't... I usually, I think Espeon's his favorite stage is Smash Bros. But, uh, I think he also doesn't like FD that much, so big time to pick by Red X. Um, doesn't really give Link a chance to apply pressure on the platforms. Uh, it is hard. <laughs> it's hard to get past the wall of projectiles. Um, yeah. Because there's no platforms to, like, move around on. But, I think, I think it's an okay kind of deck. Forward uh -oh. off the side. Roy dead? Ooh, he catches dead. soft nair. Espeon was actually getting me with that yesterday. Soft nair. Uh, does quite a bit of damage. Or not quite a bit of damage, sorry, my bad. Um, quite, not a, yeah, quite a bit of knockback. It also sends you very low. Uh, a lot of soft angle. aerials send you, like, it's not even like, it's not the damage that matters really, it's just like the angle that it sends you at is really rough for a lot of sort of characters with linear recoveries to come back from. Like Roy, Cloud, Marth maybe too. Good Ooh. jab, calls out the roll in, or not roll in, sorry, jump in from Espeon with the up smash. And Espeon get, having you on ledge is just such a scary thing, like, oh, perfect pivots out of the way of that grab. And, uh, get shield grabbed after three jabs on the oh. shield. Forward air will not kill. Still got a bit of a chance. It is Smash 4, so no one's ever out of it. As we Rage is like, oh. oh, no. That's a good and way to be out of it. And the set with a footstool. And a fairly takes dominant. It. Yeah, a dominant performance from Espeon. We'll be moving on to Loser's Semis.